It was boredom at first sight You could hardly call him right He is no one's Mr. Right So what do I see in it? So, how did you get on? Did you score? Score? With the bird that left the note for you. Oh, Brenda. <laughs> oh, well, you know, it was... it was fun. <laughs> I see. A nil-nil draw. No, no, no. No, we met in a pub. Had a drink. That was quick thinking. Then went on to a restaurant. Let me guess. You had a meal? Well, she did. She had a meal? I just had a poppadom. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't want to spoil my tea. Good. OK. After the restaurant, did you go anywhere else? Oh, she invited me back to her place for coffee. Ah. So we're back at the pad. Sweet lights, soft music. Malcolm gently eases off his crash helmet and says... Uh, I, I didn't go back. <laughs> Don't tell me. You cut your lip on the pop of them. No, I had to get home. I'd agreed to take Leonard to a toss meeting. Well, his car's in dock and I'd promised and... Well, he is chairman. A toss meeting? Thurston's to Ornithological Society. <laughs> what else? I mean, uh, <laughs> I know you wouldn't give one. <laughs> one what? Toss. <laughs> Another joke, Malcolm. Don't get carried away. Sorry. So you blew it? Yeah, it seems so. We had talked of a day out, but uh, when I left, she... Uh... Told you to take a long walk on a short pier? Well, no. Well, at least not in so many words. Oh, I see. Well, how many words in? Two? <laughs> Pity. She sounds a bit of all right to me. Hey, she's quite attractive, actually. Sort of small face, big bright eyes. And got a first at crafts. <laughs> what are we going to do with you? You could try asking him to serve a customer. It is, after all, what we pay him for. And you. Right, Mr Ambrose. Can I help you at all? Caldwell's in Chester. Even wanted five pounds to pick it up. I said, right, then it's 10p for using our toilet when you first came in. <laughs> well, I didn't, but I thought it. No, I'll get Malcolm to take it along. Hmm? Oh, yes, I'll have the room redecorated. Because Malcolm did it last time. And didn't he run out of paper? Now we've got a piece of naked plaster behind the dresser. No, <laughs> I'll get a proper man in this time. Oh, well, you know what I mean. Yet, yeah, well, the thing is... There's our meeting next Thursday, and he still hasn't fixed the lighthouse. Yes, miss, can I help you? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to show me your braces? Pardon? <laughs> oh, I see. A present, is it? For your father, perhaps? Perhaps. Oh, we have a very good range. How nice. Do you ride it or cook on it? <laughs> <laughs> very droll. Mr Milton at lunch, is he? Yes, Mr Ambrose. Was, calm, there a, was there any particular type you had in mind? I like yours. Oh? Uh -huh. The red's rather fetching, don't you think? <laughs> oh, Sputterfingers! Excuse me a moment. Take over here and try keeping things up on the counter and not on the floor. There's Kinky. What do you want? A pair of braces just like his. What for? To keep something up. <laughs> Unless you've got other ideas. Don't mess about. He might have recognised you. No, he didn't. I was in and out last time. I'm wearing my old gear. Anyway, what if he did? I'm a legit customer, aren't I? You don't want a pair of braces. I don't want a pair of braces. What do you want? To see you. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Malcolm. Hello, Brenda. Look, about the other night, see, I didn't... No matter. Oh. Well? Well? Oh, uh, well, what are you doing Thursday? I don't know. You haven't told me yet. <laughs> right. Uh, what do you think of a run to Buxton? 
takes me breath away. <laughs> Somewhere else, if you'd rather. Buxton will do. One thing, though, I'm not riding in that sidecar. I'll borrow a helmet. Um, <clears throat> did you see anything you fancy? Yeah, that little bit on the bottom of your left ear. <laughs> Tell me, do you deliver? What? Oh, oh, braces? No, not really. Pity, the grapes are ten. Cedric, I hope it chokes you. Oh, it's sad, really. You know, he couldn't even join the library. Why not? He needed two references. <laughs> you out tonight? Yeah. Mr. Clough? Yeah. You know, I don't know where you get the energy. It's amazing for a woman of your age. You're only jealous just because you can't keep a fella long enough for his dandruff to settle. Whereas you keep him so long, the dandruff's encrusted on the pillow. <laughs> your pillow. What a sweet little sister you are. Ow! You've become very physical lately. You sure you're not leading this double life? Go on. Well, sometimes the secretary to the deputy assistant under manager brackets claims, and sometimes Barbara's Barbara, the bootle bouncer. Ow! It's only a joke. Whose idea was that about me being a wrestler? Was it you? Or was it that wet Nelly with the antique motorbike? Oh, it was definitely him. You know, I've never cast nasturtiums on your physical attributes. Of course not. I'll get him to apologise if you like. What? I thought you'd given him the elbow. Well, he came crawling back, begged me to go out with him this Thursday. I just couldn't say no. <laughs> it upsets me to see a grown ornithologist cry. Oh. <laughs> I think you fancy him. Oh, get lost. Drink up. Oh, no. Why don't you grow up? <laughs> Five pounds? Just to collect a small dresser? Ridiculous, isn't it? So I said you'd take it on Thursday. Thursday? Oh, I, I can't. Oh, why not? You're off, aren't you? Y yes, well, I mean, uh, well, it'll get damaged. Not if you're careful. After all, that's how we got it from Auntie Blanche. And Chester's a lot nearer than Nan Fairfecken. The <laughs> thing is, uh, I'm meeting someone. In Liverpool, I'll be out the whole day. Oh, anyone we know. Well, I do. <laughs> yes, Malcolm, I'm sure you do, but do I? No. I see. Sex? Mother. <laughs> male or female? Oh, I see. Well, think hard. There's only two possibilities, if my memory serves me correctly. A girl. A girl? Has she got a name? Yes. Oh, I'm glad. Brenda. Brenda. I see. And apart from that, is she nice? Yes. Well, I can see you're obviously bursting to tell me all about her. <laughs> Perhaps you'll bring her for tea sometime. Yeah. Oh, what's the matter? She does eat, doesn't she? Doesn't have this anthrax nervosa or anything. Oh, she eats. I'll bring her round. Right. What time? Oh, perhaps in a month or so. <laughs> what time? Are you meeting her next Thursday? Oh, ten o'clock. Well, that's fine. Caldwell's have a branch in Liverpool. That'll do just as well. You can deliver it first thing. Oh, but mother... It's the very least you can do. It's my turn to host the friends on Thursday, and I was hoping you'd help with the teas. What friends? The friends of Liso Lighthouse. Oh, yes. I'd forgotten. Oh, no, you have. What about that little job I asked you to do for us three weeks ago? I'll look at it later. Probably just needs a new battery. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What the hell's that? It's a Welsh dresser. <laughs> a Welsh dresser. I don't believe it. Just because I went riding your flaming sidecar, you have to bring someone else. I was taking it to an antique shop in Bold Street. You was taking it? Yeah. Well, I got there at nine. Well, about five past. Possibly ten past. I think I'm a bit slow. Slow? You didn't pay in a reverse. <laughs> well, there was a notice on the door. Closed for refurbishment. Oh, my God. Well, you better get shut. There's no way I'm going for a day out in Buxton with you and a piece of furniture. No, well, well, it doesn't have to be Buxton. Malcolm, I'm not going to Buxton or Birkenhead or even the bottom of this street if it means playing gooseberry to you in a Welsh dresser. <laughs> Take it home after day will be gone. Well, it's just tough titty. There's a vast enough trundling around on the antique tricycle. This heap of plywood will bring out every would-be tar book this side of Chester to shout out the funnies. Chester? Look, let's just forget the whole thing. You two laugh with your friend. Take a bird watching. And if it rains, you can crawl inside. Uh, no, hold on, Brenda. What about Chester? What about 
Cairo. You want to go first? We could go to Chester. We could. What about Cuthbert the Cupboard? We leave it here. We'll come back and find squatters and move in. No, there's a Caldwell's in Chester. I don't care if there's wishing wells. I'm not going. That's where my mother wanted me to take it in the first place. Your mother? Was this her idea? Yeah. Well, no. Well, I mean, I was coming here anyway. And... Oh, look, I'll explain later. Come on, we'll go to Chester. But we'll stick to the country roads. I'll head out through Roncorn, cross towards Delamere and... Malcolm, over... if you think for one minute that I'll travel all the way from Liverpool to Chester on that spluttering roller skate of yours, with a coffin on the side and a goggle-eyed goof on the front, then you better think again. There's absolutely no way, no way whatsoever that I would be seen alive, dead, stuffed or mounted on that coffin. <laughs> Cemetery, love. Get lost. Where's the kitchen sink? It's got your legs open in it. Hey, look, the doors are showing. Don't get your face re-studded. <laughs> to avoid the town. And then when you insisted on taking it in with you to the gents. You have to clean it up. There's all sorts sticking to it. And that was not funny. What was it? You said when I came out. Those ladies in the bus queue gave me a very funny look. I only asked if you'd managed to wash your flies off. <laughs> we'll be open in ten minutes. Once we've delivered it, we can... we can go for a walk along the wall. Ooh, hot diggity. A trip on the river. Hot double diggity. I know. I'll take your picture. No, you won't. <laughs> Come on, stand up there. I'll see if I can get the rose in. The what? The rose, it's what they call the two layers of shops. Come on. <laughs> you don't need that. Turn this way a bit. Don't screw your eyes up. Come on. Brenda. Pamela's? No, my younger sister, Sandra. God, if it was Pamela's, I wouldn't want to be in your leathers for a thousand pound, a goldfish and a plazzy bag. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. You put it there. You told me to. What's into... Three pints of bitter, three double Glenfiddichs, bottle of Bacardi to take out and a bucket of oats for the horse. <laughs> to your coffee. Three coffees. And one for yourself. Hey, 
Have you any of them crisp wafer biscuits with the creamy centres and that dark chocolate coating? These? Yeah, that's them. Aren't they horrible? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well now, look who's here. Hey, it's Batman and Robin. So it is. The dynamics you are. Bit of a long way from Gotham City, aren't we? Did you get lost? Like you told us to. Oh, go away, you're curdle and milk. Oh, cheeky with us. You still doing furniture removals then? Hi, hey? I'm nose removal, so beat it. Oh, so. Little Robin Red, bless her. Cheeky, are they? How oh, do you know what colour they are? Oh. <laughs> but Batman's us. Just ignore him. Well, what do you reckon, Batman? Has Robin got red? Aye, well, you'll have a red face when I put Brenda, me in it. No, please, Robin. Do as like the Cape Crusader says. Yeah. Otherwise, you won't let you ride in the Batmobile. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's a nice album you've got there, innit? Norton, innit? Yeah, 500. Yeah? I've seen one of them before. How old is it? 1939. <laughs> what do you want for spares, like? Well, I, uh, I make them myself if I can. <laughs> Otherwise, you've got to use the specialist manufacturers. It gets a bit pricey. Yeah, that it does. Still, it's a smart machine you've got. <laughs> ah, ta-da! Ta-da. Ta-da, Robin. Hey, keep your pecker up. <laughs> pecker up. <laughs> Dickheads. You shouldn't argue with them. Oh, you can't let rubbish like that get the better of you. Well, they weren't so bad, really. I mean, fellas with motorbikes do have a sort of understanding. Oh, you seem to be getting on great. <laughs> I wouldn't trust them as far as I could throw them. No, but we could trust you and your mouth to make things worse, couldn't we? <laughs> so you make your own spares, do you? Sort of, yeah. I can often adapt a piece from some other machine. Got lots of odd bits at home. It's all my own gear. Bullock welding set, a lathe. You're certainly a deep one, Batman. Well... If you say so. Robin. <laughs> I do. So, uh, shall we get back to the Batmobile, then? Why not? Brenda. No, it's called Godfrey, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Useless. Doesn't fool anybody. Well, certainly not the caped crusader. <laughs> You'll be paying for your friend's coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so I sent you to say it wasn't it? Northern 500, overhead valve. Pretty solid, eh? Dex Army. I'll have a on. Side car the same, eh? The older, it's a garage. 1936. No kidding. Connected it. Well, even I know that. Just fix it and let's get out of here. It's humiliating. I can't. They've taken the bolts. Whoa! That's it. No, hold on, Brenda. Look, we're only a couple of minutes from the M53. I can be home in a quarter of an hour. You just sit tight. I'll, I'll have a replacement. Why should I stay here? Look after the sidecar. Well, if someone pitches that thing, they'll be doing us all a favour. I'm coming with you. No, no, Brenda, please. I'll be back in half an hour. Anyway, you haven't got a helmet. Ow! I'll go for the bolts. You could use one through your neck. <laughs> now, we must not forget that Liso Lighthouse is part of this country's heritage. Here, here. Now, my latest information is that the Borough Council intends to lease it to, would you believe, a brewery. Here, here. <laughs> Sorry. Bad show. Mother. Hello. Could I have a word? In a moment, Malcolm. Now, I need the key that? to the garage. Well, it's in the drawer. 
Now, I'm no, I've looked. Here. You must have tidied it away somewhere. Well, it's somewhere. Look, we're, uh, we're stopping for tea in a moment. Just put the kettle on, will you, please? I'm in a hurry. Now, just two minutes. Now, along with her apologies, Nicola suggested that we arrange a mass picket for when the contractors move in. She says she can't make Fridays because she has the shrub at it. Mother! Well, was, uh, Malcolm, if you want to make yourself useful, then fix this. <laughs> There was a girl in here with Coffee. me earlier. No, thanks. There was a girl in here with me earlier. Tea. There was a girl in here with me earlier. I left her outside looking after my sidecar. Well, she's not there now. I wondered if she's... Hey, you, Malcolm. <laughs> yeah. She left this. <laughs> Thank you. No message. <laughs> An hour under the Maisie. Oh, you've dried out quick. <laughs> Maisie Rail? You think the least they could do is arrange to have the breakdowns at the station? Yeah, very poor organisation. But if they can't do that, they could at least fit emergency cans of lager under the seats. Right. <laughs> oh, God, what a day. Had fun, have we? Well, as disasters go, it scores about 12 out of 10. What happened? Don't well, ask. I won't, then. I'll tell you. Right. Would you believe I went all the way to Chester on a heap of scrap iron in the company of a Welsh dresser and a Whittle plonker? <laughs> that I was left standing outside the gents while he washed his dead flies off? No. That our Sandra's helmet got stolen by a builder's lorry? No. Or that the plonker finally drives off and leaves me sitting in the sidecar like a prize prune in Lewis's window? That I believe. Thanks. Back in half an hour, he says, big joke. You've always prided yourself on your sense of humour. So you came home by train? I was offered alternative transport by a real biker on a real bike. But what happens in Birkenhead? Not a lot on Thursdays. <laughs> we got stopped by the busies, didn't we? Speeding? No. Carrying excess baggage? Just watching you. No. We got stopped because I wasn't wearing a bloody helmet. <laughs> oh, I knew you'd be sympathetic. <laughs> oh, what a day. There's just no justice. Stop there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there you are. Mother, Come I back to apologise, have you? Listen. But you're too late, they've all gone. Mother. I just don't know what got into you, Malcolm Stoneway, and right in the middle of any other business. Mother, look, I, I might just as well resign from that committee right now. Could I ever again raise a point of order when I've shown I can't even raise my own song? Mother, if you'll just let me speak. Well, I'm sure you've already said quite enough. When I think about the money we spent on your education, <laughs> sending you to that preschool group, manners for life, they said. They haven't lasted you 30 years. I just wanted the key to the garage. I know what you wanted. There were three feet less of you. I see that you got it. <laughs> but it's her, that girl, isn't it? You've been influenced, I can tell. Oh, it's nothing to do with anybody. I simply wanted to... Oh, what does it matter? Well, may you ask. Well, I'm going for a lie down. I feel absolutely desiccated. <laughs> if that Mrs. Lloyd Roberts should ring, you better say that you're under strain at work. She won't believe it, but we've got to say something. <laughs> <laughs> 